everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Germany and specifically about German parents, what kind of parents they are and what I love the most about them. And I know you guys enjoy these type of videos on my channel the most because they are my most popular videos and that makes me so happy. So please don't forget to like this video and if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you're informed every single time I post a video. And with this being said, let's jump into this video. A little bit backstory for you guys so you can understand better why I chose specifically these points. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mary and I come from Armenia, but I've been living in Germany for 10 years already. And the culture here, mentality and parenting style is so different from the one I was used to seeing in Armenia or in post-Soviet Republic countries because Armenia post-Soviet Republic countries mentality is very, very similar. And I chose specifically these points because I think they are very important to be talked about and draw your attention to this. So let's jump into this video. Throughout 10 years of life in Germany, I have never met a, a German couple or German parents who would get upset over the gender of their baby or what's even worse, who would go through the whole process of abortion just because of a wrong gender. Like German parents don't, don't care if it's a girl or it's a boy. I mean, we all are people, we all have our desires and wishes and preferences in our hearts. This makes us just human, it's normal. But here it never becomes like an obsession to have a boy over a girl or vice versa. People here are just happy to have a healthy, happy child and that's the end of the story. If it meets their preference as well, it's a bonus uh, point but it will never be obsession or a reason to go to abortion just because you're having not desired gender which I can't say about Armenia unfortunately because this is what I have been observing throughout my whole life li living in Armenia that Armenian parents prefer boys like it's an honor to have a boy and they will do everything to have a boy and why it hit me this hard this time is that my husband came from work and he asked me if I saw the news and I was like why are you asking me this basically Armenia was on German news on the first page as being one of the first countries with the highest rate of abortion based on gender like I won't even be scared to call it a genocide but I think Armenians organized a genocide against girls because it's the highest rate. They don't want to have girls. They don't. They only want to have boys. This is disgusting. This is so so upsetting. I can't even find right words to that. Like, this is wrong, and this should stop. And this is nasty. Really, no words. And I'm so happy to live in a country, to live in a society who is open to have a boy or a girl. This two genders are equal here, parents are just happy to have healthy kids and this is healthy mentality and this is what I appreciate and love in here and I am really really happy that I am raising a daughter who's going to have this mentality and hopefully she will make a smart choice choosing husband in the future who won't make her to go to abortion just because she's pregnant with a girl. Like that is sick, really sick and nasty and disgusting. And thanks God I am in this country. This brings me to my second point. What I love the most about German parents is that when they have a girl and a boy in a family, these two kids will be treated equally. There is no different parenting styles when it comes to those genders. But if you're a girl in Germany, you can have the same freedom, attention and love as your brother will have, which is amazing and which I can't say in, about Armenia because in Armenia, as I told you, prefer, people prefer boys and if you're a boy, then you're raised to be like, a, like you're treated like a king, you don't have to do anything. But when it comes to girls, they treat the girls like they are future housewives and carrier of the generation. I'm really get, glad to see that this mentality starts changing a little bit, like we're doing small steps, but we are on the right way of treating 
kids equally and this makes me so happy to see in Germany like I have never seen parents here who would say if you're a boy you don't have to do anything and if you're a girl just clean the house wash the dishes cook when you're eight already because you're a girl and you have to get married and you have to do this number three German parents are very respectful when it comes to the rights of their kids or their independence preferences German parents talk to their kids, they ask their opinion, they ask their kids what they want to eat or if they want to go out. They do not make the decision instead of their kids. And if something doesn't sound right, they don't start yelling, screaming, spanking, punishing the kids. They talk to their kids, they explain their kids. Of course, we're not talking about unhealthy, unlimited freedom that can spoil someone. We are talking about healthy and limited freedom but still with a right to, to choose. Like if they, they ask their kids what they want to eat, they don't ask if they prefer pasta or chocolate. Of course, it's not about that. If, of course, they will ask their opinion to choose between pasta, rice, for example, and lentil, let's say as an example. It won't be like a choice between chocolate and pasta. And when it comes to the preferences, German parents give freedom to their kids. For example, if a boy wants to pay, play with dolls and wear princess clothes, I have never seen a single German parent, a single German mom who would be against that. If a, a girl wants to play only with cars and boy toys and I don't know, to play soccer, I have never met a German parent that will be against that. Here, girls and boys are treated equally the same. They leave their kids this freedom to decide what they feel comfortable doing, what they like and what they don't like. And this helps these kids to develop and discover themselves uh, or discover their soul in early stages and to see what, the, what their preferences are. And this is so, so amazing. I think this is some, one of the most wonderful things I observe in Germany. I have never seen a German parent tell to his daughter or to their daughter, you're a girl and you should play only with dolls and do only girly stuff and wear only pink. And I have never say, seen a German parent that would say, you are a boy, you just have to play with cars and like tractors and, you know, play football. I have never seen that. And this is incredible. So number four is a little bit arguable because I know a lot of people point out German parents of not being capable of dressing up their kids properly or like if you compare it with the East Europe or South Europe or like post-Soviet Republic countries where the kids are dressed up perfectly, they're clean, they're neat, everything matches and they're like they have a style. You can't really say that about Germany, but what you can say what German parents really care is the convenience of their kids. The kids should be dressed comfortably so they can play, they can jump, they can climb and the clothes won't um, limit their actions. Like they won't put a leather jacket on a child because it looks cute. They will first of all think if my child can move in this leather jacket and play. And this is one of the most important things. The next important thing is that they care about the material and the colors of the, uh, of the clothes. They will never choose something from China, you know, with poisonous uh, coloring and some strange materials in which your kids will sweat, get allergies or I don't know, some rush on the body. They won't do that. They won't ecologically test it, where the colors are tested, material is tested and stretchable. And this is how ger what German parents uh, prefer. And this is healthy. You will never see a child, a German child in kindergarten who is wearing uncomfortable clothes, which looks cute, but uncomfortable. You will never see that. They prefer to dress up their kids. I do that as well. I know Audrey is dressed up a little bit in style, but still she her clothes are so comfortable. I will never put on a long dress and send her to kindergarten because I know she can't run with that dress and she can fall down or just hang somewhere. You know, I always think about things like that and so do German parents. They want their kids to have fun and play and they don't want their clothes to be on the way of them having fun. 
and in Germany as the kids are very independent like from three years they have to be able to dress up themselves and in kindergarten especially of course you have a teacher who can help your kids but this teacher also has 20 other kids to help so you want to put your kids in comfortable clothes where your kid can slide in and out without buttons without any kind of funny details which are cute but uncomfortable and when it comes to shoes again here as well you won't see like kids in ballerinas in at school or running in the playground because it's dangerous it's not comfortable it's not staying on the foot they prefer shoes that are from a good materials in which the feet will not uh, sweat and it will be comfortable it will be healthy for the spine and you know and that your child can do whatever she wants to do without causing her life danger if you know what i mean so my last point is about healthy food choices now germany in germany i have never seen a child like on the playground or somewhere with a bag of chips or unhealthy food like chocolate or stuff i have never seen something like that of course they are allowed to have chips every now and then of course they are allowed to have chocolate every now and then but it's not like um, it's not that common if a german mother takes their kids to a playground then she will take like as a snack she will take some fruits and veggies and she will take that and bring it to playground or like rice waffles which have no salt or sugar inside healthy things you know that will be good for their kids and when we travel abroad or I, I can't say that much about Armenia because in Armenia we eat healthy like really really healthy uh, but when I travel abroad I always see like two three year olds years old kids in strollers with a bag of chips or fries and stuff which is not common to see in Germany at home as well instead of giving them of course they give them this sweet yogurt as well but mostly they will prefer to give the kids uh, plain yogurt maybe with a little bit honey or stuff but still you know they try to keep the food as healthy as they can they always check the ingredients they always check about the food coloring they really do care what they give to their kids and they won't be lazy and say okay you just have like fries and nuggets i really didn't see that and i'm not saying that this does not exist because it does exist in some levels and every now and then when we are on the playground somewhere you know indoor playgrounds or cinema or in a restaurant of course we me and my german friends will give our kids fries but it won't be like a normal daily thing to give it will be like a treat so you guys these were my five points and i hope you found them interesting please write in the comment section if you agree with them or disagree or you have something to add up or how you see some points and i also want to know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel because i would love to film them for you thank you so much for watching this video through if you liked it and enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you're informed every single time i post a video have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next videos bye